Well, today I wanted to talk about another version of why the Dorado catfish was doing the tail standing when the power head was off during the hurricane. Thanks to Lee Shelton, our peer, and his comments below the videos. I think he, he's made a convincing case which is also supported by several other peers voicing similar opinions that uh, another reason for tail standing may not be necessarily the slight lack of dissolved oxygen but more so the need for for a current. The rotter catfish are not necessarily what one would call a rheophile, meaning a fish that needs strong current to thrive, but they do come from uh, from the waters that are that are running pretty pretty quickly. And the rotter is also known to be the longest freshwater catfish I'm, I'm sorry, uh, the, uh, the freshwater catfish that migrates the longest distance champion which is about 1600 miles from uh, from the low Amazon all the way up to the foothills of Andes for the spawning and then back so round trip is 3200 miles. That's a long, long migration. But the, this fish is built for strength and uh, stamina that would require such a, to undertake such a migration. I would like to know if anybody knows any other examples where a fish would do the tail standing not on the wall but in the middle of the tank some fish go and ride the walls for some other reasons for example I believe Tigranus catfish which is a fish from the same genus as the Dorado Dorado is Brachyplatistoma rossiaxii and Tigranus catfish is Brachyplatistoma tigrinum so Tigranus catfish is known to ride walls when the tank is too small for it or when there is bullying or competition on the bottom so to relieve that stress the Dorado climbs the wall and, and stays in one place and rides on it I'm sorry the TIG but, it, but I, I've never seen a TIG swim vertically in the middle of the tank although TIG is also a current loving uh, fish Famous Jurians catfish, the Brachyplatistoma Jurians, the Brachyplatistoma platinemum slobbering catfish, and the Piraiba, Brachyplatistoma filamentosum. But as Lay was explaining to me, is uh, there is indeed no evidence to see that the fish was gasping, or even had a, that Dorado had a, an increased gill movement, you know, labored breathing or slightly more frequent breathing than usual, which would go along with the insufficient dissolved oxygen theory. What also goes along with it is that uh, none of the other fish ever showed any signs of discomfort from dissolved oxygen, although their oxygen needs must be pretty high as well. So Leigh Shelton mentions any fish that uh, fast-moving, schooling fish, 
that's really hydrodynamic in, uh, in its body shape. So that argument goes along, supports what he's proposing and uh, I'm agreeing with it. So I guess I, long story short, I stand corrected for now. And I must say that uh, the handstanding when the power head was off, the, hands, uh, the, the tail standing was due to this fish being uncomfortable and the water being too stagnant. So uh, Dorado catfish likes a bit more of a movement in the, in the water and then it's happier. As I said, ever since we got power back and I turned on the power head, the Dorado stopped doing the tail standing and has been uh, happily swimming laps in its new large tank after having spent, I don't know, like three, four years in that 240 gallon over there with the silver dollars and Masir. So that probably concludes my short story for today.